by Impressions of She-Hulk, Episode 3. To quote the great Dave Chappelle, It's because, oh my God, I realize She-Hulk's kind of a comedy character, but if you're going to go for jokes and humor all throughout the freaking show, at least make sure they are funny. They, of course, there was nothing funny about this at all. This was straight up identity and woke politics to the nth degree, and it was terrible. It was awful. I mean, oh God. First you turn at the end, first you turn the wrecking crew, four men with escorting weapons, with superhuman strength, who used to go life and death, beat the holy hell out of Thor, used to hang with the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, the, no, I'm not talking about the MCU version. I'm talking about the real Hulk, the one from the comic books, the one that can break worlds. They used to go head to head with those guys, those four dudes with those weapons, and they got totally embarrassed by the She-Hulk. This writer has no clue about Marvel. She's only concerned about woke politics. And before you say, oh, Irvin's being misogynistic. Oh, he um doesn't like women writers. Hey, I didn't mind the chick that wrote Wonder Woman. I didn't mind that. Heck, I love Wonder Woman. Even Wonder Woman 1984, which had some woke politics in it. Even that one, even that one wasn't as bad as this. The only thing I can think of that was even worse was Men in Black International. That's the only thing I can think of in recent years that was even worse. Or only show, period, that was even worse. I mean, this was a useless episode. I mean, at least Miss Marvel had use. I mean, if you've got a, if you got insomnia issues, I mean, watch a couple episodes of that, that'll take care of that problem. <laughs> but at least it has use. This episode has no use at all. At all. And as for Wong, now we know Wong can be a bit of an idiot. We know Wong can be kind of funny. But at least in Shang-Chi, at least in the event two last two Avengers movies, at least in Spider-Man No Way Home, and in both Doctor Strange films, at least he was actually funny. Here, he looked like a complete goof. He looked like a complete idiot. And by the way, why is he Sorcerer Supreme? Because of diversity. Why does the white man get to be here? Well, in this case, referring to Dr. Stephen Strange, the white man is qualified. Yes, I said it. In this case, the white man is qualified. Because, because, he was the Sorcerer Supreme. He got dusted, yes. Wong stepped up to be the Sorcerer Supreme, fine. The second Doctor Strange came back, that title should have been turned back over to Stephen Strange. But no, no, we want to keep Wong. We're tired of the white man being, being the head guy. No, it ain't because he's white, it's because it was the right thing to do. But no, they can't do that. And then, the killer for me, and I don't want to give away too much, you gotta watch it for yourself to see how bad, awesomely bad this episode is. The twerking scene. They did that. I wanted to throw my phone through the freaking wall because I was. That's why I was watching it all. Cause oh, oh my God. No Marvel show, past or present, was this bad. I haven't been this bad at a Marvel property since Fan 4 Stick 2015, and even that had more redeeming qualities than this episode. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sure my girlfriend will have Regina K. Huff, uh, aka The Nature Girl 30, will have more on this, but that's my quick rant. This thing sucked. Mm -hmm.